Remains show hominins crossed the Strait of Gibraltar. A redating of five fossils from southeastern Spain suggests they are the earliest evidence of hominids in Europe. If true, it provides significant evidence for the idea that individuals of the genus Homo first crossed the open waters between Morocco and Gibraltar to Europe, suggesting a level of technological sophistication that was thought to have evolved much later. As surprising as such a conclusion may be, it is consistent with other recent discoveries from around the world. Long before our species, Homo sapiens, emerged on Earth, other hominids had left Africa and settled much of Asia and Europe. Although our shared ancestors with these explorers were making stone tools more than a million years ago, it was initially assumed that Eurasia was entirely inhabited by walking. The idea that Homo erectus or his contemporaries could build boats or swim long distances was considered preposterous. If true, the route to Europe would have involved passing through parts of Asia and around the Black Sea before moving west. The remains from Ors, Granada, dated to 1.3 million years ago, challenge that idea because they are older than those from Eastern or Central Europe. Dr. Luis Gibbard of the University of Barcelona is the lead author of a new effort to date the fossils using magnetic records from the sediments where they were found. Magnetic rocks keep track of the direction of the magnetic field in which they were formed. The fact that the Earth's poles have occasionally reversed allows paleontologists to date these rocks with more confidence than most alternative methods. The rocks from the Ors region are ideal for this, Gibbert says. These areas are remarkable because they are layered and they are located within a very long sedimentary sequence, more than 80 meters long. Normally these types of areas are typically found in caves or in relatively limited stratigraphic sequences and that doesn't allow you to develop long paleomagnetic sequences where you can find different magnetic contrasts, he says. Based on their positions relative to the five polar reversals, the fossils from Ventimicena, Barranco Leon, and Fuente Nueva are 1.32, 1.28, and 1.23 million years old, respectively. These dates make the Ors sites 200,000 to 400,000 years older than the oldest alternative sites of hominid occupation on the Iberian Peninsula. More importantly, they are all much older than hominid fossils from other parts of Europe. Unless there is an error in Gibbert and others dating, early humans either had to cross the Caucasus to Spain without leaving any traces, or they arrived via the Strait of Gibraltar. Both are hard to believe, but Gibbert and others find the latter more likely. The areas where early humans lived 700,000 years ago, where remains or tools have been found. Possible migration routes especially the routes by which people might have reached Spain, are marked in yellow. C. Gibbert et al. 2024. We know that hominids can live in a region for a long time without leaving any fossils, or at least none that we find. Yet if humans had spread across southern Europe for at least hundreds of thousands of years, we would expect to find something. The alternative possibility that hominids migrated from eastern and central Europe and then from France but did not stay long enough to leave a trace before flourishing in Spain, is equally implausible. This suggests that the ancestors of the Ors fossils crossed the Mediterranean, probably via the Bosphorus, which is now 14 kilometers wide. The similarity of stone tools found at one Ors site to those made in North Africa at the same time strengthens this claim. Meanwhile, the earliest evidence of a Schulian technology developed by Homo erectus and continued by Neanderthals lies beneath layers that are at most 1.07 million years old. Between 0.91 and 0.78 million years ago, a Schulian technology appeared in Italy and Spain, suggesting that this was the point at which hominids entered Europe from the east. However, the question of how the strait could have been crossed remains. We know that the strait has occasionally closed, but the last closure occurred millions of years before the arrival of the first humans, making land crossing impossible. However, due to tectonic activity in the region, the width of the strait has grown and shrunk over time, so it may have been shorter than its current width. However, the strong currents make it unlikely that the strait was swimmable at the time, requiring those crossing the strait to have used a boat or raft. But also how do you survive Homo floriensis, or hobbits? crossing the Lombok Strait, which is 12 miles or wider. Humans came to Europe when they had the technology to cross sea barriers, like the one on the island of Flores, Indonesia, a million years ago, Gibbert says. 
The possibility that early and likely small-brained human ancestors built steerable watercraft is made even more plausible by the wooden survival of Homo sapiens, dating back 476,000 years. If early humans more than a million years ago were building boats and wooden houses that could cross treacherous waters, we have to ask, what else could they have done? Equally puzzling is why such highly technological humans never developed some of the technologies and cultural practices that eventually emerged in the Neolithic period.